Hello, welcome back to my channel. So I thought today what could be a fun and also time efficient thing to do would be to first of all get myself a peppermint tea, drop my coaster on the floor and to have a little look at some shopping websites to have a little think about what kind of sales tactics they are employing in order to make us buy from them. I need to pick up my coaster. So when I've done videos like this in the past, I have planned them. This is unplanned. I'm hoping I've got stuff to say because if I haven't, it's just gonna be a very awkward, boring video. So let's go, let's do it. So the reason why I think it's so important to properly understand exactly how stores and websites and anyone trying to sell you anything is trying to manipulate you into buying stuff is because the more you know, the better you can sort of fight against it, the better armed you are in order to prevent yourself being taken advantage of. Because I feel it's not, it's not always the case that the consumer is some sort of little helpless victim just sort of sucking on the teat of the massive corporation. <laughs> what kind of sentence was that? That was horrific. Ew. What I'm trying to say is that it's not always the case that the consumer is the victim. It's just very often the case that the consumer is the victim because the company needs to make its money from you and that you know naturally you're gonna be in a slightly vulnerable position where it is in the business's interest to take advantage of you so we're going to go through some websites we're going to talk about the tactics that they employ in order to make you buy stuff and the websites i've chosen are the websites that i used to frequent back in the day back in the day when i used to spend all of my fucking time shopping online and spending money that I didn't have and things that I didn't need. Bleak days, guys, bleak days. And also I've looked into some of the most frequently used shopping websites and we're gonna have a little look at those. So let's see what happens. We're gonna start off with Topshop. Okay, so the first thing I noticed with this website is color. Now, our eye is naturally drawn to anything that is brightly colored and moving. So you'll see this bit here, it's like sale flashing and then all of a sudden it moves. Then we have the old, favorite of up to, up to. So if something is up to 60% off, it could very well be 1% off or 2% off. It doesn't mean that everything's gonna be 60% off, but it's very enticing, it entices you in. We've got the old free delivery as well, which is something that I've commented on before. And also student discount. Student discount is a very interesting one actually. It says, this is one I've been thinking of making a video on because I was at uh, the Metro Centre, which is the big mall near where, near where I live. And um, they, have, they have student shopping nights, so specific nights just for students to go shopping. And I find this very strange. The problem that I find with it is that if you are looking for a group of people who are most likely to be insecure about how they look or their place in life, it's gonna be students. And I do, I do feel that these sort of student discounts and these student shopping nights and all this type of thing, these student cards, I think they are sold sort of to say, like they're trying to help you out, but I don't think they are. I think that students don't understand what's good for them yet. And so they probably think that they, they're probably the group of people who are most likely to buy things they don't need in order to feel fulfilled in some way or to compensate for something that they think they lack. Because I remember being insecure as hell at university. I didn't think I was either. I thought I was like, hey, I got this sorted. My name's Carmen and I'm rocking this joint. But I was not rocking this joint. <laughs> what am I talking about? I, I just remember being in the shops all the time, drinking all the time, and feeling like crap, <laughs> that's, what, that's what uni was for me. I didn't have it together. I thought I did though. But um, yeah, I just feel like if you're gonna be, if you were gonna choose a group of people who one, had money, and two, were feeling insecure about themselves, students students are your, your main target. So I kind of feel like, you know, free student, not free student, whatever was it? Student discount, student shopping nights, all that type of thing, really, really takes advantage of that. Anyway. What else? Klarna, split the bill. Pay a third now and the rest later. I mean, that's always gonna be a scam, anything like that. It, you're gonna be paying horrendous amounts of interest. Ah, this is something quite interesting as well that I've noticed. I've noticed a lot more kind of Instagram 
style photo. So usually it used to be when everything was like this, where it's all like glamorous shots and this is a model and everything's perfectly lit and blah, blah, blah. Whereas now I feel that we are encouraged to take photos of ourselves and post them online. So it's kind of really drawing attention to that fact by saying, if you buy our clothes, then your photos will look like this because social media is so prevalent at the moment. And they also want our email address, which is, you know, it seems all nice because we're gonna be getting 10% off and isn't that great? But if we're getting 10% off our first order, that's a significant amount, especially if you buy quite a lot. So the thing you need to think of is why is that, why is our email address worth that to them? And the reason for that is because they can bombard us with adverts and make, you know, we'll buy again from them. And having that information is very, very important to them. I mean, you have to think if our email address is worth 10% of whatever we're spending to this company, then it's a tried and tested way of making the consumer repeat order. So the next one is Top Man. So same crack, but my God, the colors are offensive. I can't quite, can't quite look at it. And we've got the same thing here where we've got some sort of Instagram type photos of people looking cool. I like that, how women in, you know, in for women's stores, it's all like, I'm just hanging with my friends. I'm having a great time drinking my champagne or whatever. And with men, it's always like, ah, oh, I'm a loner and I'm cool. I don't need no one. I'm just sitting on my car. Ooh, there's a shop for her. It's encouraging people to buy gifts. Is there a shop for him on this one? Ha! No, there isn't. Because women don't buy gifts. Okay, I've only done two websites, so I'm gonna have to hurry, hurry the hell up. ASOS now. Now, ASOS was my kryptonite. I struggled. Uh, so, see, I see. You've got women here having fun together. <laughs> Look at them having so much fun. Now, what do we have here? We don't have a whole lot. We've got the sale, expected. What else do we have? We don't have a whole lot here. This isn't as, I was expecting to have a little bit more, a little bit more fodder here. I'm gonna click on women, see if anything happens there. Ah, okay, so we've got, we've got clothes specifically targeted for your New Year's night. Again, it's sort of something that we've been told really, isn't it? It's like, it's a new year, so wear your nice new outfit and then bring in the new year with your new outfit and all will be well in 2019, because that's all it takes. When really, you know, if you have clothes, you'll probably be fine. What else do we have? We've got couch to fridge couture, right? Right, okay, so we've got kind of like articles now. I didn't know that. So articles that are selling us stuff as well. Order by 23rd of December. Ooh, I do like those pajamas. They are nice, but I shan't be buying them. I will check Depop in three months time and hopefully someone Someone has decided they don't want them anymore. H&M now, so I see, so, oh God, where's it gone? Ah! So H&M, we've got women having a lovely time together. Look, they're so, they're having so much fun. They've got sparklers, they're party glam, they're gonna make an entrance. So, you know, it's this whole social thing with women, how we are generally more social creatures. And this is being exploited a little bit by saying, you know, if you buy these lovely clothes, you will have a better social circle. You'll have this much fun. You'll be smiling this much. Look how perfect her teeth are. You'll have teeth like this. That is the message we are being sent here. Club members. I didn't know there was such a thing as club members, but you can be a club member of H&M now. Christmas, party things, party perfect, because you have to be perfect if you're at a party. More Instagram shots. Ah, articles again. This seems to be a big thing. People are really cashing in on the, the whole blog post thing. But if it's, the, if it's the shop that is writing the article recommending their item, then how are you meant to take it seriously? Like if it's someone who you trust, then yeah, okay. But I don't know. It's just another form of advert, isn't it? It's silly. That is silly. Okay, next, Zara. Zara, 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 Zara. My weakness back in the day. Um, okay, we've got a lot of things moving. Lots of movement. Don't know what anything says. Okay, night lights, I read that. Again, women having fun. Oh my God, men being cool and alone. Ha! Huh. Um, family. Ooh. Oh, um, bring any clothes you no longer wear and we will... Look. How do I go back? Coat, okay. This one again. This is, this is, <laughs> this is so overstimulating. I want to go back to the one about... Okay, I'm just going to get ready to read really quickly. Okay. 
okay, we've got mommy. So this is like, it's almost like taking advantage of the fact. Oh, okay, next one. Bring any clothes you no longer remember, we'll give them a new life. Oh, this stuff. Yes, yes, yes. So this, I believe, is an example of greenwashing. This is companies attempting to care or trying to show that they care by doing minimal, minimal work. How do I find out more about that? What's truff? I'm going to click on truff. What's truff? Okay, I still don't know what truff means, but um, it wasn't this. Zara surplus, surplus. Surplus. <laughs> what? Hey, is it down here? Oh, fix your stupid website. I'm not, I'm not going to bother trying to find it anymore. Anyway, that was Zara. Next one, Burton. I thought we need to get some more men websites in here. We've got bright red. We don't have any movement though. That's good. We've got, this. again, look, he looks so sad. Why are you so sad? There's up to 50% off selected lines. And they also have apps. Again, it's all about accessibility, isn't it? Also, that's another thing with having an app for something, because I'm finding this with Depop. I've been a little bit of a Depop victim over the past few days, is I scroll Depop like I scroll Instagram, I'm finding it's becoming a bit of an issue where I just, just to have a look, you know, if I've got a bit of time to kill or if I've got something on the telly and I'm sort of, I'm listening, but oh, I'm trying to defend it. It's a really bad habit. I shouldn't be on my phone when I'm doing other things, but I am. And I'm in the habit of just kind of scrolling Depop. I think that is why websites have apps because yes, you can access things through your browser or through, you know, like on your computer. But ultimately, I think there's something about the habitual nature of scrolling that they, are, they can cash in on if they have an app. Okay, let's go Amazon. This is the big one. Now the thing that Amazon do very, very, very well is they personalize everything just for you. So I signed out because I didn't want everything to be personalized for me. I just wanted the general consumer experience. We have deal of the day. It's all about Christmas. And I think that must be because the Amazon Prime thing probably still gets things here on time. What do we have? Stocking fillers, secret Santa gift ideas. It's just all bestsellers really, isn't it? I don't know. There's nothing that offensive on this page. It's just a lot of stuff. But I think the average Amazon consumer isn't on the generic page. I think generally you're going to be signed in and then everything's very specific on things you have been looking at, things you're interested in things you mentioned in your sleep. Anyway, that's not that interesting really, is it? That's one, boohoo. Whoa, there is a lot to take in here. My band's song were on a boohoo advert one time. So I always liked boohoo, and then I learned more about boohoo, and then I was sad. <clears throat> okay, so we have the movement of Christmas sale. That's obviously gonna draw attention to it. We've got up to 70% off everything, remember, it's up to 7% off everything. That could mean like, well, it could be 0% off because that's less than 70. 2.99 next, okay. What's what's going on here? 50% off or more, 60% off or more, 7% off or more, last chance. Right, so you like get to take your pick. You get to choose which of the sales you want to do and which one do you think you're gonna click on. So that idea of giving the consumer some sense of choice, even though, you know, there's no choice. They want you to buy stuff, that's the choice. Buy stuff or don't buy stuff. They want you to choose buy stuff, but they, they pretend that you have the choice of all of these different offers and stuff. Okay, that's all I have to say about that, really. Next one. Okay, so Pretty Little Thing is a website that I've never actually used before, but I've seen this thing. Whoops, whoops. Oh, what have I done? But I have seen this countdown thingy in Boohoo and they've got into trouble for that because they say the sale is going to end in however much time and then it doesn't end in that much time and that is false advertising. And they got into a bit of bother about that. So we've got a bright pink banner here telling us that we have 20% off everything and we are told that we must slay the party. And again, we've got two gal pals being friends because buying stuff means having a better social life if you are a woman. Free UK returns, very, very important if you are trying to make people buy more stuff because this is, I used to do this all the time. I would buy stuff that I didn't even think I liked that much thinking, oh, I just return it if I don't like it, it'll be fine. And then as, you know, a busy person, I wouldn't have the time to send the back and then that would be that. I owned this piece of crap that I didn't want. Ugh, new year, new feels. What? No. No, 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 new year, new, New year, <laughs> new year, new year. That's that's the thing that is new. Shop the looks from your favorite influencer. Straight. Yeah, I've noticed that. Pretty little thing are very Instagram based. I think that's where um, they're really, really cashing in on the popularity of 
Instagram influencers. Right, Debenhams, what are you doing? We've got lots of pink, up to half price sale, with the last terms and conditions apply, selected lines. This is very transparent, this is quite nice. This is fine, well done. Right, Urban Outfitters, 50% off, bright red. We've got a man being cool, and look how fast he is moving. He is a very quick-handed man. Ooh, back in stock. Suggesting that it was very sought after. From the blog, again, we've got like people writing articles about their own stuff. Oh, <gasps> that's gas! Well, I mean, I'm clicking on this. Am I? Have I been? Have I just? I've just been targeted to. I've just been manipulated. Where is he? Guys, is um, the avant-garde vegan. Where is he? Where did you go? Okay, so um, I don't know where he's gone, but but just because I like him doesn't mean I'm gonna buy his clothes. Okay, USC. Last one. So I think I think they might have a sale on. My intuition is telling me this is quite the um, quite the color clash happening here. It's a bit of an assault. Again, we've got a lot of cool dudes being lone wolves. Cool dudes being lone wolves. Um, yeah, nothing to, nothing that I haven't said already. So I hope that video was in some way useful anyway. It's something I'm kind of weirdly passionate about in that I, I think the consumer needs to be sufficiently armed with the marketing tactics or the things that are meant to um, make them think positively of a company or to draw their eye in or to think that they're getting a good deal when they're just getting an average deal, this type of thing. So if you do find yourself shopping for something, have a think about whether it is something you need or whether it's something that you've been told that you need because the two are vastly different and very, very important. The distinction is very, very important. And also something that's very important is just to have a little think about where where the thing you're buying is actually come from, who's made it, if you can get it second hand, that's going to be better in terms of the supply and the demand of things that haven't been made ethically. Yeah, just really try and consider exactly everything that's going on behind you making a purchase before you make the purchase. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a lovely day. And I hope that you are having a very lovely festive period, whatever that means for you. For me, it's Christmas and I have got a lot of music stuff to do for it. That is my Christmas. I will be working on Christmas morning, but that is the life that I have chosen. It's fine. And I hope you have a lovely day, whatever it is that you are doing on the day. So Merry Christmas, and I wish you all the best. I will see you in a few days' time. I'll see you later. Day and night, it's not the same as being wrong, right? There is surely grace, but sometimes the sanity is easy and some things are never okay. As my words disperse like a flock of birds way over your head. And all because my choice of words says something I love